So how's it going today, guys? Back here with another video. Sorry about no pack opening on Friday. If you watched my last video, I kind of explained why there. I just had a really busy school week last week. But we will have pack opening coming Tuesday for sure. And uh, kind of wanted to bring you guys this video. This is a series I'm probably going to be starting up here. It's the top 10 best value cards, of course, on the auction house in the game. So... Um, let me know if you guys like this kind of content. If this video does well, I'll probably bring the top 10 worst value cards tomorrow or the next day. And, um, yeah, make sure to leave a like on the vid, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and let's get into it. So, these are in no particular order, too, by the way. One more thing I want to mention before we start is, sorry about the changing mic quality. My original mic kind of crapped out um, a couple videos back, and... I just have been having to use different ones. <clears throat> so consistency with that will get back soon. So just wanted to kind of make that known again. But yeah. Anyway, let's get into it. So yeah, no particular order, like I said. And yeah. So coming in at number 10, we have two cards kind of together because they're very similar. One is like a right-handed version and the other is like a left-handed version. And we got Kevin Porter Jr. Diamond and OJ Mayo Diamond. They both got the J.R. Smith release. O.J. Mayo's got it on. Um, is right-handed shooting with it, and then KPJ's a left-handed shooter. Both these cards are super good value, man. I mean, you can't go wrong running either two of these cards at point guard. That's for sure. O.J. Mayo's super cheap, too. I think he's, like, around 6K. Oh, there's one for 5K right there. Yeah, go pick that one up, guys. He's definitely a really good card to run for that price, and can't go wrong at all. And then KPJ, he just came out in the level up set on Friday. He uh, can also be evoed up to pink diamond, so that's pretty huge. And he's just a really good card. I've already been getting matched up with him all day in triple threat. And, I mean, he's just been a really good card every time I matched up with him. I had a couple people actually, like, really cook me with this man. So, you can't, definitely can't go wrong either way. Both these cards, I've, I've used OJ. I've not used Kevin Porter Jr. yet, but... I know the guy, geez, he's super cheap too. I didn't realize he was that cheap. Let's see exactly where he's at. 65. 59. Okay, so he's, he's around like 57, 50, 59, 50. Yeah, 57, 50 right there. I mean, you could pick up both these cars in your point car positions and you would be set. Anyway, that's coming in at the first spot. And then, coming in as the next card, we have another card that came out Friday, and that is Thurl Bailey, Pink Diamond. This card, honestly, just plays like another Giannis. I don't know if he's quite as good at like playing lanes and that kind of thing defensively, but I mean, he's going to be a better shooter, and he's going to just give you that size. And you can also run him at small forward, which you cannot do with the Pink Diamond Giannis. You can do with the Opal, but... Uh, at small forward, he's just a cheese ball. I think he's six foot eleven. That might be the biggest small forward we have in the game right now. It looks like he went up in value a little bit. He was under twenty k yesterday, but he should still be under like yeah twenty five thousand two fifty. I mean, this card. You might think that's a little bit expensive, but playing like a Giannis who's going for like I don't know three hundred k right now. I mean, you cannot go wrong with Thurl Bailey at all. And I mean, just look at that man with his goggles right there. Tell me you don't want to use him. And coming in at the next spot, we got Diamond Tyler here, who came out last Tuesday. And this card, you know, I know I'm a He fan and everything, but this is not biased at all, man. I mean, I heard people kind of saying, all right, this guy might even be used competitively. He's that good. And I was like, all right, you know, whatever. But people were not lying, man. This card, he's another one I've mashed up to. 9,000? Is that a snipe? Hold on. If it's a snipe, I'm picking him up. One minute. Dude, yeah. Give me that, bro. So we got a snipe here in the video, too. That's pretty dope. Yeah, 16000 Just got him for 9000 I mean, 16000 is still a really good price. But anyway, this card's got that base 107, that cheesy Trey Young, Jason Tatum release. Super good card to run a shooting guard. And again, you know, I'm a triple threat guy, so this card is kind of based towards triple threat. A little bit of bias there, but... I've gotten mashed up with him a couple times, man, and he has just been cooking. Like, 
you really have to like focus in on defending him because he's just so good off the dribble, so good at three hunting with that quick release, and you can knock a wrong with this card at all. That's Diamond Tyler Hero. And then coming in next, this is a card that came out a little bit longer ago, but he is still a beast. We got Pink Diamond Chris Stapps Porzingis here. He is such a good card to run at the center right now, and I, I can't believe he stayed this cheap. Like, I honestly thought he would have went down in value a little bit. Ooh, he, maybe he did go up a little bit since I looked, but he shouldn't still be too expensive. Yeah, we're still looking at under 60k for this guy, which is still ridiculous for how good he is and the output you're going to get from him in-game. Okay, how much is he exactly? I think we're probably looking at about... Yeah, 56,550, man. This pink diamond Chris Stapps is an absolute beast. I mean, he's just going to he's going to be a pick and pop type center. He's just he's wet from the 3. He's going to be that, you know, probably one of the best stretch bigs in the game. Top 5 for sure, maybe even top 3. And uh he's going to give you that length at 7 foot 3. He's not going to be crazy on the defensive end, but he's still going to get a lot of boards and his strength is actually pretty good for a Chris Stapps card, too. So you can knock go wrong with picking him up for triple threat or to run at your center. You can't really go wrong, like I said. And coming in next, we got Pink Diamond Andre Karolinko, who came out in the same set. Now, Andre Karolinko, has, as you guys probably know, they changed his release from that base. I think it was just the Danny Granger base, and they changed it to Wade base, base 98. And, I mean, he's just a cheese ball with that release. I don't know what else you want me to tell you. I mean, running this guy again at power forward, small forward, or in triple threat. Holy crap, he is super cheap, too. You can just not go wrong. And base 98, you know, a lot of people are saying, oh, it's not as good as last year. It's not as good as 20. But, I mean, it's been my favorite release in the game since I started playing 2K. It's just such a cheese release. And maybe that's a little bit of bias just because I love D-Wade. And I always use D-Wade when a card of him comes out, but... This card is absolutely amazing. And he's going to be just unbelievable on the defensive end as well. Yeah, 35,800, man. Go and get this card right now and run him. I mean, he's good at power forward or small forward. It truly does not matter. And that is Diamond Andre, or Pink Diamond, sorry, Andre Karolinko. And coming in next, this is a, definitely an older card. Came out, I think it was on Christmas. It was either Christmas Day or the day before Christmas in the Tis the Season set. But this card is just, he is definitely stood the test of time. He is still a top five small forward in this game for sure. And that is Pink Diamond Rudy Gay. And he's definitely went down in value a little bit too. Like, he, holy crap, we got him up for 20k right there. Let's see what we're working with here. Because if this card is cheap enough, I'm picking him up. 19,750 for Pink Diamond Rudy Gay. I mean, this card plays like a 100k card that's there's no question about that this card is unbelievable he's got his own release which has been good for years in 2k it's been good since i started playing for sure same release as like a dr j and his height and just his size i mean his height let's see what his height is really quick six eight he looks like he's about six eleven on court and he's just got that broad player build and He's going to be unbelievable on the offensive and defensive end, man. The only issue this card has is that he can't get range, as many of you may know, or can't get uh, limitless spot up, I think is what the badge is called. But that truly doesn't matter, because what this card is going to give you at the power forward or small forward position just kind of makes up for that. I mean, that is literally his only flaw. If he could get limitless spot up, I think his value would still be around like that 80k and you know, people would be talking about this card still more than they are now, but that flaw is definitely not detrimental to this card, not too detrimental anyway. So, yeah, go and pick that guy up. That is a crazy price. I didn't realize he was that cheap. And coming in next, we have from the limited edition set, we have another small forward, power forward. Maybe it's power forward, small forward, either way. Doesn't really matter. But we got Pink Diamond, Richard Lewis. This is another card that I love every year when he comes out. Because I'm, I'm, just, I'm just a huge fan of Richard Lewis, man. He's one of my favorite players. I loved when him and Ray Allen played together on the Sonics. And then they both kind of came together on the Heat, too. And he had just an insane Eastern Conference Finals. I think it was in 2013 when he just lit up the Pacers in a couple games in that series, man. 
one of my favorite basketball memories. So yeah, 11,250. That is a really good deal for this card too. Running that small forward or power forward. He's going to give you, you know, just that really good shooting. Six foot ten. I mean, what? I mean, he's just really similar to some of these cards we've already talked about, like Rudy Gay, Karolinko. You know, they are somewhat different, but they're just going to give you really good shooting, and they're going to give you really good production on the defensive end as well. So, really good deal for that card as well. And then coming in next, we have another card that came out at the beginning of this season. And that is Pink Diamond Joe Johnson. As many of you know about this card as well, his stamina is kind of lacking a little bit, but that is his only flaw. I think he's got like a 75 stamina, and he just gets tired so quickly. Yeah, 26K. Still a really good price for this man. He is super cheesy at the shooting card position at 6'7". He just cannot go wrong with this man at all. I used him for quite a while after I pulled him, and... I mean, at 6'7", at the shooting guard position, he's going to give you a really good release, really good on defense. Only issue is that stamina. But if you're playing him in triple threat, that doesn't matter. And you can just go crazy with this card, man. That is Pink Diamond, Joe Johnson. And then coming in next, these next two cards are just no-brainers. I mean, right when these two cards came out, they were cheap. And everyone kind of knows about them at this point. But you just got to include them. How can you not include them? We got Pink Diamond Lamar Odom first. And then you guys will probably probably know what the next card is going to be, then the final card. Yeah, so Lamar Odom's so cheap. He's another small forward power forward. And he's got that Paul George release, but it's lefty. And he is just going to be very, very good on the offensive and defensive end as well. Another 3 and D card. Um, really good in triple threat, really good in 5-on-5. Five really good in any game mode just like most of these cards are and you can get him for 13,950 right there you just cannot go wrong with him at all man that is lamar odom let's see what height he is really quick too six foot ten yeah see all these cars that i mean just their height i mean that's going to give you so much when you run them at the three and all right last card is pink diamond jeremy lynn and he is going to play pretty much the same as that Dark Matter Gary Payton, who was that Dark Matter collector level reward, first Dark Matter in the game. You know, that card's pretty much unattainable, of course. But this card is going to give you pretty much the... Hold on, let me see if that's a snipe. I don't think it is, but... No, it's not. But yeah, 12,500 for this man. And you are getting just an unbelievable point card. I mean, you could realistically get him kpj and oj mayo and just run lynn you gotta run at the one but kpj or oj mayo could run at the two and i mean that's just a crazy trio at the guard position man for the prices that they're going for jeremy lynn's got gary payton's release he's going to be really good on defense he's going to be able to um you know he's just really cheesy on the offensive end too with his dribble moves and that man he's just going to give you really really good production at that point guard position so that's Pink Diamond Jeremy Lin. Flash glitched. So yeah, I think that kind of does it for the list. We got that Tyler Hero snipe right there. That is dope. I'm going to get his XP done later. And um, yeah, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want more of these types of videos. Like I said, if you guys kind of really like this video up, I'll come out with the top 10 worst value cards to help you guys out. There will be a pack opening Tuesday. And, um, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.